Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1647 Northwest Meadows Drive here in McMinnville. We're located at the front of the home. We're off to the right of the front doorway, just in front of the patio. We have a 3 inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. I'm going to introduce some water to the line here in just a moment and then we'll let it drain out. Camera go in the right direction here. And I'm going to zero out right here at the base of the cleanout on the camera counter. Here we go. Transitions here over to 6 inch 3034 PVC pipe. Here at 61 feet, we have reached the main lateral. We're going to go ahead and start reeling the camera back. <clears throat> Like we had a little bit of debris that, that uh, had collected there. I'm not sure if that was a couple big wads of toilet paper, but the camera has broken them loose, so the next toilet flush that comes through there is going to knock those out of the way. Same thing with that stuff. It's all that's also going to move. That will probably in total take about two or three toilet flushes, but <clears throat> it's once it gets adhered to the pipe walls it becomes an issue. Once it's knocked loose, it, it moves on its way. Now that's why you don't want to put big wads of toilet paper down the line. You want to avoid putting grease down the pipe because um, those items just they, they end up getting stuck, and if you get enough of them in there, they become, they become a problem. Another spot right there. Now, let's see how much debris we have to deal with here. That, that was a very large uh, bunch of debris that was almost as tall as a six inch pipe. This, this bunch of debris here may be too big for just your... Yeah, that is looking very large and very heavy. So uh, we have enough of these in the line here. This one in particular is, is about the size of a softball almost. It's huge. Uh, and it's due to the weight of that, is, a toilet flush is not going to move that thing down the line. So, um, And throughout the pipe from that point forward, from at least here at 31 feet, so far the last 30 feet of the sewer line, um, has a few different spots there with some very large uh, bits of debris build up in the line. Another one there as well. And some more stuff right there. Now because of that I am going to recommend a hydrojet to clean the debris from the line. And I am just about to reel the camera out. 
I'm gonna reverse direction real quick and just go back towards the house. But uh, aside from the, the debris buildup in the line, uh, the pipe itself is in good condition and has proper flow all the way out. Um, the line is still functioning. It's not that debris is is completely clogging the line up, but um, you can see how, because of how big that debris is, you get toilet paper and stuff coming down the line. They can hit that and start backing up on it and and clogging up. So I would recommend a jet to get that cleared out of there so that doesn't happen. And we're now going back towards the house and just scoping underneath the front porch area here. And we are now back inside the crawl space. All the pipe under the front porch is also looking good. So again, I would recommend a jet to clean the debris. Uh, but apart from the debris, the line itself is in great shape and functions prop I'm sorry, is functioning properly at this time.